prefer doing evil characters or, or, or um, good characters? Evil. Evil. <laughs> One. There's more. I think there's more range when you're playing the evil stuff. I mean, every great story, movie, everything like that, a, the great villain carries the entire show in the whole movie. You know, a, a great uh, because if the, if the villain is not good, we could care less if the big guy wins or not. You know. Well, and it's more of a challenge as an actor too because you can't play you can't play a villain and just be like, Whoa, I'm gonna tie a girl to a train track. Whoa. Like you, <laughs> like, the villain never thinks they're the bad guy. They always think that they're doing the right thing. So as an actor, it's really challenging because you have to figure out what it is that that villain's trying to do that everybody else thinks is so evil that you have to like say, this is the good track. Like I'm doing this for this reason, and my I'm I'm the right one. They're wrong. And that's what makes it much more interesting and more challenging. Also, we're we're very angelic, so it's nice to have that challenge. Yeah. <laughs> the, thing about the, the thing about the villains too is that it, it, I I find that it's you don't want them to be completely hated. If there's some sort of you know you feel for them a little bit, even though there's there's something so wrong with them, that gives them just more more character and, and uh, like guys like the Joker. You know, I mean. You, you want to hate what he does, but you know that there's something that maybe has caused this, so you feel a little sympathetic. Even in the comedic stuff, you know, you, you go, well, that's a, that's, this guy's a, he's, he's mean, he's doing terrible things, but do I really hate him? I rooted for Dick Dastardly. I could care less about Penelope Bitstop and all of those others. I wanted Dick Dastardly and Muttley to win, because I didn't hate them. They made me laugh, but they were still bad guys. But they weren't like, oh, they're just horrible people. I mean, there's definitely villains in things that we have no sympathy for. But even Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter is a, is a horrible villain, but don't you think, now that we know what his backstory is, we kind of understand why he is the way he is? I think that the one exception to the rules, like in a lot of live action movies, you remember the villain, like everybody remembers Vader. They remember Jaws. They remember Hannibal Lecter. All that kind of stuff. But in Pixar movies, you hardly ever remember the villain. That's, it's weird. It's like a, the Pixar bubble. It's like I always think about the, the, the Incredibles. Like, I don't really think about the bad guy. I think about the family. Or like with Toy Story, I don't think about that little, what's his name, the kid that lives next door? Yeah. 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 I don't think about him. I think about, and like Monsters, Inc., you don't think about the Steve Buscemi thing. You think about, you know, Sully and Lekowski. <laughs> 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 yes. Mm, <laughs> well, good, good question. Yeah. Fantastic question.